And actually, mm. Jimmy has a 54% win rate versus mm. Louis Man over the last couple of years. However, again, Louis Man, the last time that they played in an online tournament, he, he's the one who took it. Okay. So, you know, look, Louis Man has been one of the top players in the DR for a long time. Jimmy's been strong for quite a while as well. Yep. Uh, they're coming into this having had, uh, you know, very strong results so far. Uh, Louis Man took down Mono. He then took down V Positivo. Uh, that was three, two one, and three one. And for Jimmy, that last one versus Brian D, the three zero, he looked great. Yeah, Jimmy looked uh, nigh unstoppable in that set. So we're gonna see if Louis Man got to present something to impede that progress because right now he's looking to take his spot in Grand Finals winner side. But Louis Man, of course. Always a uh, big obstacle in the road for anybody trying to get that W in a tournament. Look, it's not an easy match for Dalsum. No. But as things have gone on, I think Dalsums have gotten a lot stronger at the matchup. No, I don't want to tell you that I think it's a, <laughs> as much of a blow up as it used to be. Yeah, I definitely uh, used to be super heavily favored for Balrog. I mean, Dalsum uh, struggled heavily. But as the game gets older, as the Dalsum players get more experience, they realize, oh, new ways to deal with old problems, and we'll sure. see if Louis Man has some of those. Yeah, I mean, Dawson's gotten pretty good, too. I'm not gonna you know, he's, <laughs> he's good, he's good. <laughs> Ooh, Jimmy crazy. now with a bunch of resources. Louis Man did not want to let him get started. Yeah, I like the check on the drill. It's just unfortunate because at this point, you can't afford many more trades if you're Jimmy. So yeah. much life has already been dissipated. Oh, and we talked about that before. That range, it just gets you flinching with that Stan Fear startup. I just love the way that Louis Man played the end of that round. He was floating where it wasn't going to be easy activation for Jimmy, and then he went in. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Ooh. He's uh, had to have played this matchup so much at this point as well, right? So he's going to be well aware of what the Balrog player is thinking of in any given scenario. Sure. Great call out. Yeah, I mean, that said, Jimmy's, uh, especially right there, he knew exactly what was coming up, and he busted out of it. And again, just getting a slight punish. I love him going with the... Oh, he tried to get into the yoga stasis again. Nice. Oh, couldn't get more than that. Oh, oh his old roundhouse pushed him backwards. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Oh, oh. man. I think Jimmy still feeling the uh, effects of that happening a little bit right there. Just got lost in the lights on that Yikes. last teleport. Yikes. Yeah. That that is definitely an interesting scenario to realize though if you're Dawson, right? You can get away with a little bit more risk than usual because if you're gonna get crush countered, that V trigger will be there to <laughs> save any follow up. Wow, all right, so Louis Men coming out on top and making big plays happen, preventing himself from getting punished heavily with that V-Trigger set up in the corner. So good stuff. We'll see how uh, Jimmy kind of adjusts from there, right? If he's going to uh, try to be a little bit more aware of that scenario, kind of back off in the corner a little bit. But yeah, for the most part, I thought Louis Man did a great job playing around the ball rock, yep. using the yoga stasis, yep. and just in general, just stuffing a, a lot of what he wants to get started. Yeah, it was about movement. He's moving great. He was outside or above, in fact, yep. what a lot of boxer wants to do. And when Jimmy tried to move in, Blue Man was there with the anti-airs. He had down strong a couple times as anti-air. He had his own pressure, of course, as Dalsum can do, which is a big part of this. Uh, if you don't want to get rushed in on, one way to do that is to have your own offense going instead. Yeah. And that's, of course, a, a big part of the strategy there, too. So, Blue Man, I mean, I mentioned at the beginning of this top eight, I felt like it was sort of his path that I, I felt seemed the most likely to get all the way through and mm. take the W here today. But I feel like this moment, this match, is the biggest impediment to that. So Jimmy certainly can do it. Again, in match history, he has done it. Mm -hmm. He's done it a bunch of times. Yeah. Sounds like we've gone back to the lobby. Sounds like we're going to character select. I don't. I would be very surprised to see a change. Yeah, same. Most definitely. I, I see it, Jimmy sticking with the ball rock for now. Um, especially because, like you mentioned, right, in general, he's done very well in this matchup. Yeah. And the first match got away from him a little bit, but definitely still winnable. So I don't see him moving away as we see the ball rock coming back out once again. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a good call. Fight. So, and uh, what I really liked about Louis Man in that first match was how long he would stay in yoga stasis, right? Because I think that's something that you kind of like when you have an option that can kind of counter a rush punch like that. It's all about how you use it. Yeah. And if you stay in there too long, that means the bar can kind of start catching on to it, maybe use a screw upper to combat it. But instead, Louis Man has just been showing it to him and then taking it away very quickly. Oh, look wow. at this. That would have been a setup that would have been safe from the fireball. 
Bluey, man. Everything's working out. Look at this Ridiculous. guy. This is going to be the round. That's like that. The EX. Ooh. And keeps the second bar holster. Knew he just needed a jump medium punch for the kill. Yeah, again, he turned it into his own offense. Jimmy's trying to be at a range where he can whiff, punish a button, where he can, you know, sort of safely start off a heavy dash punch, maybe, where this is an option. He's trying to beat those ranges. Yeah. And so Louie Man doesn't want to allow it. He wants to be in a more comfortable range. He wants to be above. Ideally, he wants to be right up close playing offense. I really love the way he's uh, playing this full screen game and Jimmy finally putting it into it with that EX. But just the mix up between the Yoga Stasis and the drills and the different areas Ooh. of the drills. But either way, Jimmy, that's a huge jump in there, avoiding the V trigger entirely because of it. Threatening with the trigger, as you can see, and Jimmy was ready. He, was, yeah. he moved forward as soon as he saw Lulu Man in the sky. Yeah, Lou. Oh, no! Okay, yeah, didn't get as much as he wanted from it. And Jimmy. Look Ooh. at his patience. I love this from Jimmy right now. That was very nice. Staying just outside of the drill range for the punish as well. Uh oh. Uh oh. He big. Uh oh. Yes. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. Oh, it looked like he tried to avoid that. I think you're right. Yeah, hit him on the toes, and he caught him walking back. No combo, but he commits something afterwards, so V-reversal off. Jimmy has meter to chip him out. He does. Louis man's got to hang on to that V-reversal as a result. 30 on the clock. Can't easily throw an EX Fire. You'd mm. love to do that to get started off, but Jimmy gives up super. Okay, so the chip is off the table now. Oh, this roundhouse slide again to avoid the rush punch, but no, the jump back. I know that was a teleport execution error, and unfortunately it cost him the round. The slow play was there from both players. I really like Jimmy slow playing that. I thought that was such a good call. Really a specific read. And just reversing with the Gale to avoid the throw. Mm -hmm. Airborne, fam. Again, can't easily just start things off with an EX Fire as you might want to. Jimmy's moving forward. Look at him. In and out of those ranges. I really love the way we've seen Jimmy just play Balrog up against the Guile, the Dawson. He, he's just not like face rushing like he, uh, like so many other Balrogs kind of fall into. Yeah. Yeah, he's keeping it slow even here. And part of that, as I said earlier, is because you know once you get in as Boxer and you just find a couple of hits, it's good night. It <laughs> happens so fast. Yeah. And so you can afford to be a little bit slower. Ooh, and yeah, hit him on the toes right there. That's such a huge back throw. Puts him in the corner here. Yeah. Beautiful V reversal. Mm -hmm. Maintaining offense. Does not have V right here. Louis Man. <laughs> He's just trying to stay away. Look at him. Oh my god, when's he gonna land? <laughs> That's why you see the Yoga Gales. Ooh. Are you serious? He knew. He knew exactly. He had not done the float into falling fierce. Never. From that range, with that kind of timing until right then. And that just happened to be, happened to be when his opponent was doing the dash punch. Oh, I mean, man. it doesn't get more specific <laughs> of a call out than that. Yeah, exactly. Like we've seen him, uh, the way he's avoided like that dash punch range, has been a lot of the yoga stasis into uh, buying your time in the air with the gales or coming down quickly with a drill kick. There's been so many different options besides that one. And the fact that he called it out so heavily to end the round, to take a 2-0 lead, it's not only just like impressive reading of his opponent in that scenario, but at the time to do it, that is a real significant moment in the set to really just take away a lot of the hope of his opponent. So again, it sounds like Jimmy's going back to the lobby, probably just trying to settle things down. I do like a lot of the strategy from him. I think that he's he's done a great job at, especially in that last game, although it didn't work out, a great job at picking timings. Spacings were good in a lot of the cases. You understand the strategy of trying to be out of Dalsum's limb range mm -hmm. where you can whiff punish, where you can, you know, sort of get things started with, a, with an EX rush or a low EX rush, where you can see and react to a fire, something like dash forward or dash straight into V skill mm -hmm. to get through. There's all these options that that boxer can do. And so he's been there a bunch of the time. It's just that Louis Man has had unpredictable movement. His offense has been a super big part of this. Yeah. Uh, and his choices in terms of like when to view reversal have been on point as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm wondering at this point, I feel like, you know, Jimmy has shown a lot of great patience, has really not gotten caught up in trying to just uh, sacrifice his health bar to get in on these characters mm -hmm. that are zoning him out. But I think he might need to put the uh, foot to the pedal a little bit more okay like maybe try to risk uh, some of these screw uppers like from these long distance like stasis or like these drill attempts that um the dawson is doing we'll see well it's now or never in this game 
for Jimmy. At least in the winner's finals. Again, we're still in winner's side. Here we go. So yeah, I like that. I, I think really trying to combat him, trying to go into these yoga stasis or yoga drills from full screen is going to be the way to get back in the match. Could I, ooh, boy. Didn't think about the float fall. So yeah, he's he's, still, he's definitely trying to bully his way in a little bit more now. I think you're right. I'm, I'm seeing that as well. And so I'm also seeing Louie, man, move forward. Oh, no, the big damage. No, oh, okay, okay. Was Almost there. What are we going to do here? Okay. I like it. Taking the throw. New Louis man was real worried about something big coming out. There we go. Yeah, so follow it up. Well done. Yeah, that, I mean, you're right. He did seem like he was playing more offense. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was uh, building upon what you mentioned earlier with how much damage Balrog has, right? Is that like sometimes you are going to have to play a little bit more sacrificial of a game, and it's going to be worth it if you do get in. Wow, try to the tap into the V-Skull overhead. It's so rare that Louie Man just hangs out at that about, yeah, about that range yeah. right there. He's almost always going for drill, almost always going for float, or almost always trying to just move away. He doesn't want me to be there at all. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, the amount of time he stays in the air is always so different. Really throws off a player trying to approach him. Okay. Oh, Way he's too looking high up. for the upper, yeah. Oh, that was it's so still there. Smoke. Can you get it? No, 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 no. Jimmy put an end to that. Here's some offense. Oh, caught him reaching in the corner. Now it's time to guess for your life. Ah, seeing stars. Put him on the walk of fame. 2-1 here. Louis Mann staying alive. But Jimmy forcing the situation that game. He found some big moments for himself. Yep. More, more, more often moving forward, as you said. That did seem like it was a big part of this for sure. Yeah, I'm glad he decided to take a little bit more risks. I really do admire his patient play, and I think it's very much the right thing to do in a lot of situations, especially against these zoning-type characters or these characters that have a lot of long-range options. Mm -hmm. But because of him playing like that, right, that's what your opponent's going to be expecting. Sure. So I like him switching it up and at least catching the play style off guard a little bit. Again, the uncomfortability of that spot right there where Louie Man tried to walk back out of it, tried to jump out of it. Yeah, that's, again, the spot. And so Jimmy is really trying to do a better job at hold on to it by dash punching and by staying in, by V-skilling. Oh, wow, great buffer right there. I see, yeah, you can see Louie Man, he's uh, playing a bit more grounded now as well. We haven't seen as many yoga stasis. Finally comes out there. Oh, no, that's a huge win for Jimmy. <laughs> I mean, literally, <laughs> it was the round win. <laughs> That was good stuff. I liked the adjustment from Louis Man. It was just one big hit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, he was playing better. Like, uh, he is definitely playing more on the ground a little bit. You can see teasing the stasis a little bit longer. Just woke up right through it. Oh, boy. And here's Jimmy. Already exactly where he needs to be on this Street Fighter nice. dual stage. Oh, yeah. Louis oh. Man in big trouble. You know, that's a good idea, actually, to just get out there with a little bit of sacrificial. But didn't end up working out as Jimmy with an EX. Mm -hmm. Not going to do it. Oh, the double dash forward into the back dash. The man's looking like Epo out there with the movement. I like it. Ball Rock and Jimmy back in this set, two to two, just like that. He's not at max range. He's not looking to whiff punish a button. He is really, really doing a better job at holding on when he gets not even just right up close, mm -hmm. but like within about half screen, one third screen range. It's much more uh, about dash punches there for him. He's found some big buttons there at that range. Heavies have come into play more often. Yeah. And, and again, you can see that Louis Man just really doesn't want to be there, yeah. but he gets stuck. Mm -hmm. And then if you get hit at all, you're in the corner, you've lost a third of your life. You know, so it snowballs down uh, very, very quickly. So I, I love the change that Jimmy has made. Mm -hmm. Now it's incumbent on Louis Man to make his own change. Yeah, and I think Louis Man did a decent job adjust trying to adjust pretty quickly. But Jimmy was actually ready for a lot of the adjustments he was making, right? We saw him, the way he started to get back into the set was a lot of, like, V-skill and rush punch, right? A lot of big bets getting in and making sure yeah. that they pay off. And then when Louis Man kind of saw that, and after that first W happened for Jimmy, Louis Man started playing a little bit more grounded games, started to play a little bit more compact with the drills. And we saw Jimmy respond in kind with a nice buffer. We saw the crowd short buffer. Mm -hmm. We saw him stuff the drills a lot of the time before they landed. So, yeah, he definitely made some good adjustments quickly to what Louis Man was going to change up so i'm very interested in this game five i don't know which way it's gonna go
Look, Jimmy's already made it through a, a bunch of strong players. This has been a great tournament for him. Obviously, we saw him earlier today uh, when he took down Brian. But even before that, he took out Kaba. He's already a very strong player uh, in order to get to the situation. So for him to take out Louis Man as well would be huge. Great for him. It's not quite over yet. 2-2. Two two. Oh, boy. Yeah, and uh, Louis Man started this set 2-0 yeah. since Jimmy has brought it back. We'll see. We'll see. We've seen uh, this oh, Game 5 boy. play out so many different Sorry. ways. Like, it's 50-50 in terms of my memory, right? <laughs> like, the person making the three-game comeback and then that person actually getting the third-game clutch out. So we'll see how this goes. Look at this grounded slow play from Louie Man all of a sudden. Ah, not for long. Turns on the juice a little bit more. Point Blank's going to get punished early. Oh, wow, yeah, maybe a hard call and a backdash. Or like a V-shift. I probably could have hit a V-shift as well. It is a lot more grounded. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, finally, yeah, Louie Man yeah. takes to the air. But he has definitely made a change. There's, uh, there's a difference in playstyle right now. As well as V-Trigger 1, I note now, is for true. Louis Man. Oh, just beat him to the punch right there. This is that scary spot. Oh, again, he interrupting those standing heal punches. Jimmy now from a 2-0 deficit, knocking on the door of set point. Oh, Jimmy so worried about Sly that he was able to give up that EX. Oh, oh those roundhouse is hurt, fam. Look at this slippery little guy. Oh, how though? He reached through the fire and into hell itself to bring Louis Man back. That's why he wears those gloves all this time, <laughs> I was wondering. He's got oven mitts on, it turns out. <laughs> Protected. And Jimmy now does have set point after being down 0-2. Oh, yeah, and you can tell he's playing. Oh, yes, no. he senses it for sure. The dash, the low. Oh, nice job. It's that Vitrigo one. It popped off that security blanket. Let's catch him here. But Jimmy's okay with that. He didn't eat that much damage. Dash up into the back throw. Locks him down in this corner once again. Pumping that super motion. Dashing Ooh. around. And he just danced in front of him, too. Oh, the throw actually whiffs. Louis Man, another chance here. Big anti air. Tries to catch him flinching with that crouch fierce. Another big anti air. V break committed to. Gives up super, it could be different now. Oh, it erupts just in time. The Universal still blocks, takes his turn back, avoids the EX rush punch and the super punish. Are you kidding me, Louis Man? <laughs> the stasis, the dodge, the rush punch, and then get the punish for the kill. Oh, couldn't have asked for a better way to get into this final round. What a genius, he backs off. He's going back to that airborne play. Here he's in for the pressure. Jimmy, back to that range. We can threaten. Yes, here it is. All right, Louis, man. Completing it as he had not been for a little while. Punish. Yeah, but we slide. No counter here on that light kick. Oh, he actually walked into the slide there. There was the check. That was huge. No offense started for Louis, man. Woo. A little bit of a life lead. It's not oh. much. Here it is. It's a big chance. <laughs> what is he in the corner? Here? Not quite. Not quite. Almost there. The back off was so good. Oh, he didn't have anything ready behind that crowd. Strong tries to catch the button that time. Oh, cancels. He still couldn't block in time, though. Oh, great job knowing that he would teleport. What a way to just stop. It's still there, the safety. Look at these jabs. It's coming out of the wire. Oh, my goodness. And the kill, Jimmy DR clutches out the comeback. After Louis Man with a clutch way to force the final, final round. Incredible set. That's the only thing I can say really right there. Incredible from start to finish. Jimmy completing the comeback. There was a point I wanted to make about that last round. I can't even remember it. Like, it was just too good. That set was too awesome. Honestly, one of the best ones that I've seen in a while. That was so <laughs> strong on both sides. The adaptations were there on both sides. The changes of play oh, pretty clear. Yeah, I remember the point. Dude, on that EX Fireball where he escaped the corner, Jimmy played that so perfect, man. Yeah. Like, the fact that he jabbed him, walked forward, jabbed him again, and then threw him after the second jab, that was the perfect way to keep offense while respecting the fireball i it, it, phenomenal absolutely phenomenal but as you can see the replays going down that was just a hell of a set back and forth 2-0 to start from louis man jimmy brought it back you can see this is the beginning of the comeback that game three brought it all the way back to force a final game thought he was going to run away with it and then louis man spectacular fashion right there <laughs> dodging the like the point blank rush punch knew the rush punch was coming out so he didn't even wait for the stasis just dropped with the roundhouse 
Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Great catch right there by Jimmy, by the way. <sighs> to see in time that the V school had connected in the way that it did, he was able to get the EX dash. Congrats to Jimmy for getting into grand finals in winner's side.